Hey, so I wanted to make this quick video. Uh, a client of mine today got a phishing email, um, and it was a little bit different than what I normally see, but it was something that was really, really cool that I wanted to share with you guys. So there's this uh, phishing email here, and it's just saying, hey, there's a, a shared document. And on that email was an attachment as an HTM file. So when we go to open up that file, it takes us to a page that ends up looking like this. Um, which is, is pretty interesting, but when we inspect the element on this page, I mean, obviously this is in Office 365, um, but we actually find that the action um, that, that gets submitted when you actually type in your credentials and hit enter, um, it, it references this PHP file out on this remote web server, right? So I've got that malicious domain, the malicious PHP, and, and if you remember in a previous video, I showed you an example um, where we had capture.php um, that was able to steal credentials and store it in a text document. And this is just like a real case scenario of that actually happening. So if we go out to this address, we can see uh, some details about the website. So I'm going to go in and I'm just, instead of going into the PHP file, I'm going to go to the directory right before it. And when we do, we have obviously that PHP file we just mentioned, but then there's also this text document that I already have opened in a different tab right here. Um, so if I go back into this text document and I'm going to try to make this uh, where you can't see all the details because in here is some very, very sensitive information about some of the victim IP addresses as well as obviously the emails and passwords. But I mean, there's just pages upon pages of credentials in here. And I've been monitoring this basically all morning. Uh, and, I've, and I've found that as time goes on, I mean, there's just new entries constantly being added. I refreshed this page probably about five minutes ago. If we go to the bottom, the last domain here, well, I'm going to blur that so you can't see it. Um, but I'm going to just refresh real quick. And I mean, even in the last five minutes, we only have two new entries, but still, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. And I've seen this go like 15, 18 entries within a 10 minute span. So this is something that's live, it's, it's real. These are actual attack servers hosting these malicious documents. Now, typically you're not gonna be able to come in and see the list of victims here, um, but the attackers just did a terrible job at securing their web server. So I've spent my morning calling as many people as I can on this list to try to give them a heads up. Um, but as you can imagine, I mean, it's just coming in so fast that there's just no way I can call everybody. So I wanted to make this video kind of make you guys aware of, of what it is that we see all the time um, and show you a little bit more of that hacker perspective. Cool. If you like this type of content, let me know. Hit the subscribe button because there'll be tons of new content like this. And please do hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, this was Harley. I'll see you guys next time.